रहमान रहीम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट अ पोर्ट बेस्ड वेबसाइट इन सेंटो सेवन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू ओपन द वर्चुअल टर्मिनल सो नाउ वी आर इन वर्चुअल मशीन आई विल चेंज द होस्ट नेम इट इज ऑप्शनल सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द होस्ट नेम यू कैन अदरवाइज इट्स नॉट असेंशियल सो फर्स्ट आई विल चेक वर्ट्स माई होस्ट नेम सो दिस इज माई होस्ट नेम Now I will change my host name. So uh, first of all, you need to be in the root directory. So for this purpose, I will write su root. Su means switch user, and then uh, enter the password. So now I am in the root directory. So now again I will write the command host name. Now you can see that host name is changed. <clears throat> Now the second step is we will install LAN card in CentOS platform PC and set up IP addresses for each LAN. So first of all you need to go into the virtual machine. And now from setting click on network and from there uh i have already enabled the network adapter but uh, if it is uh, if it is unchecked then please uh, check this and uh, there are four adapter in centos 7 you can add other one from there adapter 2 and adapter 3 now uh, click okay now uh, again come into the uh, terminal and from there you can see uh, these three dot icon click on this and now click on wired setting so uh, there is our lan card which is connected now click on setting and uh, now you can see uh, that uh, this is link speed and this is ip4 uh, address from there you can see that uh, your ip4 method is automatic it mean that our uh, this lan card is working on the internet with automatic dhcp configuration now uh, note this ip address uh, in my case the ip address is 10.8.25.7 so in your case whatever it is please note down now apply and now come back to the terminal so uh, this was the second step now the third step is to verify the apache web hosting server so uh, now verify that apache web hosting server is installed and running on your pc for this we will write rpm minus q httpd as we know httpd is used as apache in centos 7 so now it is showing me that apache is installed if it is not installed at your side then you can uh, see previous videos in which we have covered installation part of httpd or apache now apache is already installed so now next step is to start the apache server for this purpose i will write command service httpd start now enter the command so uh, the apache is started now i will check the status of the apache server i will write service httpd status yes now it is showing me that apache server is active and running from uh, there you can see written in green color now uh, next step is to create virtual host for this uh, i will create virtual host you can uh, use any method but i will use g edit method as it is more good and more convenient so uh, this was the path but now uh, i will name my site which i want to create site1.configuration 
so uh, it is the uh, extension con it is the configuration file uh, uh, of that website which i want to create so now press enter so uh, you need to enter uh, these four lines in your file and and after that you need to save this file so uh, you can see that uh, uh, i have entered the ip address uh, which was uh, 10.8.25.7 uh, it is the ip address which i i have shown you in the beginning so after that you need to enter the port number on which you want to uh, run your site because uh, you know we are covering port based website so uh, you need to enter the uh, port so after this uh, this is server admin you can enter webmaster at uh, i have entered at sap and because it was my local host name uh, you can see at the bottom here but at your side you can enter your name or you can also enter gmail uh, at here but uh, after this document root uh, you need to enter the same path because uh, when we create website we need to uh, create the website in that folder uh, so i have entered the path war/www/html/site1 site1 uh, is the site which i want to create it so i have given the path here and over here i have also uh, uh, given the ip address and uh, the port number so uh, click on save now close the file so uh, this file will this site will operate on port 2000 so now we need to enable the port 2000 now the next step is uh, to enable the port for this purpose we need to open the file of we need to open the configuration file of apache now i have opened the uh, apache file now uh, search for listen at uh, you can uh, search manually or otherwise press control f and now write listen you can see listen at is written here i have already written listen 2000 here but in your case uh, you need to write listen 2000 to the uh, listen at so now save the file now the port 2000 is enabled now for security enhanced purpose we need to perform sc linux operation for this purpose we need to write sc manage security enhanced manage port now we are giving permission tcp protocol and port number in our case we have used port number 2000 that's why we are writing 2000 here now enter now sc linux operation is performed now we need to make the new directory for website make new uh, new directory for website so for this purpose uh, we will make new directory in uh, slash www slash html and then we will add index.html file in it so to create directory write make directory and now we are giving the path where we want to create the file where we want to create the website so uh we are creating the directory site 1 uh it is showing me that you cannot create directory because it is already exist so uh in my case i have already created the di directory that's why it is showing me that your directory named site 1 is already created so uh, after this uh, after creating directory now we will create the file html file for this purpose right g edit
now it is open this is a simple uh, HTML file you can uh, write HTML code here so I have written uh, HTML and now in the main heading uh, uh, main heading header one I have uh, written this is my first port based website you can write anything and in body I have written uh, our channel name you can write anything now save the file and close the file now we need to restart the Apache when we restart the Apache the configurations are saved automatically so for this purpose we will write service httpd restart so the configurations are saved maybe uh, when uh, you are uh, reloading or restarting uh, your Apache uh, server here uh, it may show you error uh, that uh, you cannot create you cannot uh, reload the uh, server or you cannot uh, run the server uh, this is due to SE Linux reserving port 2000 for other users we need to tell SE Linux that we want to use this port for HTTP traffic so uh, if you see that error you can resolve that error by writing gedit now we, we are going to open the SC Linux configuration file now uh, at this place uh, it will be uh, in your case it will be SC Linux is equal to enforcing you need to delete the enforcing and replace the enforcing with disabled then save the file and then close the file and again restart the uh, uh, Apache then it will surely work now you re need to reboot the system for this purpose and write reboot and then enter after rebooting the system we will access the site by writing wget wget is used to access the web so now uh, we need to write wget now we will write the our IP address the IP address of our LAN, of our LAN card and after colon write the port number now you can see that it is showing me that uh, the IP address with this port is connected now you can see this after uh, clicking on this link and now uh, click open link now uh, it will open in uh, open the website in Firefox so now you can see that our website port based website is created so uh, this was the heading which we created this is my first port based website port based website and now uh, you can see it is written in the body ninja tech so uh, that's how you can create port based website now uh, if you want to uh, run your site on client computer so for that purpose first, first you need to make sure that client and server are in the same domain for this you need to assign static IP address to both systems remember that now we have assigned the dynamic IP addresses so uh, to assign static IP addresses you need to go there and again you need to go wired setting and now go into the setting and now go into the IP4 and uh, now click on the manual and now uh, if you want to give it static then uh, write the IP address there and then enter the net mask and then apply so that's how you can add static IP address after this after adding static IP addresses now we need to disable the firewall we need to disable firewall to make sure that both systems are communicating for this purpose we will write sudo firewall first we will check the state of firewall it is running so we need to stop the firewall for this purpose 
we will write sudo systemctl stop firewall now enter the command so now the firewall is stopped you can again check by the state so it is showing me that uh, it is not running now you need to uh, now you need to register the port in firewall so for that purpose write ip tables capital i now capital input now uh, you need to enter the port number which is 2000 and again capital accept now enter so ip tables are added now you need to save the ip tables for this purpose write service ip table save so uh, that's how you can run your site on client computer i hope you understand thank you so much for watching